Hi everyone, welcome to Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. I am Sarah Lincoln, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome to today's Friday video tutorial. Today we are going to be making these little candy bar holders. I have a stamp camp coming up this weekend and this is what all of my girls are going to be getting as a little thank you. They hold a little Hershey's milk chocolate candy bar right in there. Super cute and super easy to make. A great project that you can do in an assembly line and make a bunch of them quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is cut at three and a half by seven and a half. Two pieces of DSP, and I am using the brand new um, Blooms and Bliss DSP. I love this print right here. It's the one that I used on this one, um, but we're gonna be using the other side today. And you're going to need one piece cut at three and one quarter by three and one quarter. And then one piece that measures three and one quarter by one. So we need to get our Simply Score uh, scoring board out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the um, seven and a half, drop my stylus, seven and a half um, inch side on the top. And we are going to score at one and one quarter. Then we are going to score at one and five eighths, which is the little dash right after the half inch mark. Just like that. Then we're going to score at two and seven eighths, which is the um, dash right before the three. And then we're going to score at three and one quarter. Just like that. All right, so we're done with the Simply Score. Put that back. Now we're just going to fold and reinforce all of our score lines. Get my bone folder here. Making sure that they are all nice and even. And then the last one here. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to take my Project Life Corner Rounder Punch and I'm just going to corner round um, the tops here. And then I'm gonna take my three and one quarter by three and one quarter piece and I'm going to corner round two of these as well. These are gonna be hidden so you don't need to worry about that. And then I'm gonna flip this over and stick this on right here. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold this up and right here you have two sections. You have this top section and then this bottom section. This bottom section is where our other piece is gonna go. So I'm going to stick that on here, get that on here, try and get it even. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my Fast Fuse adhesive and I'm going to put it on this top portion right here. And I'm actually going to open it because sometimes with Fast Fuse I get messy. All right, now what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this over and you're going to line the bottom edge with that score mark and then with the sides there on both sides and then just stick it down and you can fold it up and get it good and, and then there you go. Super cute, super easy. Love it. Okay, so now we're going to decorate it real fast. And I am using the stamp set. Um, it's an older stamp set. It's called Crazy About You. I'm going to use that little um, medallion flower right in there. So let me just get my stamp out. And my clear block. Now with photopolymer stamps, because they have no cushion on it, it's always best to stamp on um, like a piercing mat. This is a piercing, an extra piercing mat that I have that I just covered with grid paper so I don't get it dirty. And this allows the stamp to have some cushion. So that's what 
you need to get a good image for your photopolymer stamp. So an extra piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to take my, um, do I want to use Wisteria Wonder or Sugar Plum? I'm going to use Wisteria Wonder, my ink right here, and I'm going to ink my medallion flower up. Get it good and covered. And then I'm actually going to stamp off. Oh, I didn't get good coverage on that. Let's try it again. With a larger stamp, you have to get really good coverage. Okay, so stamp off. And then stamp on the Whisper White. Oh, and I actually, well, geez, I got something in my stamp. See that little, no worries, we're going to flip it over and we're going to try it again. Third time is a charm, right? Okay, so ink it up. Almost forgot to stamp it off. Stamp it off. <laughs> stamp it down. Here we go. Okay, good. Oh, it's got some... My stamp isn't very clean, but that's okay. It just looks like it has texture. It's all right with me. Okay, so now we're going to take the matching punch. And with this one, you got to line it up. And I actually, my paper doesn't fit in there, but no worries. I'm just going to take some of it off here till I can get that little petal in there. Just like that. There we go. So line this up. With the petals of the punch. Punch it out. Perfect. Get this out of the way. Okay, so there's our flower. Close my ink pad here. Now I am taking the thanks uh, from the Jar of Love stamp set. It's a brand new stamp set from the new annual catalog. And this set does come with um, coordinating dies that are called everyday jars. You can get this in a bundle and save 15% instead of buying them separately. So that's a great, great deal. I'm gonna take my black archival ink pad now and my thanks, ink that up. And then I'm just gonna stamp this right in the middle of my flower. That's why I um, stamped off on my flower because I wanted the thanks to stick out. All right, now I'm just going to take some dimensionals, maybe. I always lose those things during the video. Every single video I lose them. Oh my goodness. They hate me. The dimensionals and I have a love-hate relationship. I still can't find them. And then as soon as I turn the camera off, they're going to... They're going to appear. They always do. But no worries. I have backup. Okay. So we're going to put a couple dimensionals down here. <laughs> Look at They appeared. Go figure. Okay. So, and then we're just going to peel the backing of our dimensionals off here. And then put this right in the center. Just like that. And there is our little treat holder. Oh my goodness. Look at how stinking cute. Then you could, of course, decorate this right there if you want to, or you can leave it how it, how it is. It doesn't matter. So look at that. Super simple, super easy. Just a great way to, to say thank you and give a little treat. I really appreciate you guys stopping in today and taking a peek at this week's Friday video. Until next time, happy inking!